Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing an update to my Pan That palette for March of 2018. Before we jump into the video, I just want to go ahead and say a big thank you to all of my new subscribers. I just hit 200 subscribers about a day or two ago and it's such a big deal for me because I never thought I would, honestly, I never thought I would get any subscribers. I, as I said in my 100 subscriber video, it was only about a week ago, so I basically doubled my subscribers. I just want to say thank you. I really love doing this. This is like my favorite hobby. I love getting to plan out new videos and get to play with makeup, and I love the editing, and I'm just having so much fun with this, and I'm just really happy that I've been able to find some people that actually you know like my content and want to follow along so thank you so much and also as we could tell from the opening of my last video along with this video I have a new title card and a new closing card and they were created by the lovely Lori Johansson I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly as you know I'm horrible at pronouncing things and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It is beautiful. So thank you so much, Lori. Okay, so with all that out of the way, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like following along with my Pan That palette. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to catch the rest of my updates for this year and see some other panning projects that I have planned for the rest of the year. So if you missed my intro and my first update, I'll go ahead and I'll link them up in the cards above. But what I've been panning is the Marc Jacobs um, style icon palette in the shade Lolita. So I'll go ahead and throw in a clip of what my palette looked like at the intro. And what it looked like at my first update. And this is what the palette looks like now. So as you can see, I have hit pan on a new shade, the first shade right here, the cream shade, and it's a sizable amount of pan. Like I was really surprised that I was able to expand the pan that fast. And then I have expanded the pan in this shade right here, which is the one I've been using as a highlighter almost daily. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there is a sizable dip in this light beige shade right here and a little bit of a dip only in the dark brown, which is what I've been using to fill in my brows. So I'm seeing some great progress essentially with this half of the palette right here. I am finding it difficult to use like the shimmery shades right here on the end. I think I'm gonna try using them a little bit more like on the lower lash line to kind of add like a pop of color down there. But yeah, I'm kind of hitting a little bit of a rep with these two right here. So if you have any suggestions, they're both, well, one's like a metallic and one's kind of a satin shimmer so if you have any suggestions on how else I can kind of utilize those two colors go ahead and let me know down below because I'm hitting a little bit of a rut with those but the rest of them I am seeing a good amount of progress and I'm excited about hopefully hitting pan on this beige shade next so that is my goal for the next month for March I really want to hit pan on this shade right here shade number two and i want to get a nice sizable noticeable dip in the dark brown shade since i can use that every day for my brows and i'm gonna do my best to start getting out of my comfort zone when it comes to liner i want to start using other colors because i go for black liquid liner like every day so i do want to start using like this darker shade um as liner and maybe smudge it out on the lash line just to see you know make it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more smoky. So yeah, that's everything I've got right there. I really do want to hit pan on one more shade before my next check-in, so that's going to be my goal. And just try to figure out more ways to utilize these last two shades in the palette. That is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to catch the rest of my updates for my Pan That Palette along with some of my other videos, and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!